Hi everyone, Dean Real Estate Dynamics. I'm with Andrew Coronas. We're down here at head office and he's going to tell me about the death of the corner office. Nice and controversial, but I love his enthusiasm to trip around the world to find what's going to happen next and how can he look around the corner and make it happen here. So mm. what's this death of the corner office? Look, I think, I think the real estate model hasn't changed for many, many years. Yeah. Yeah, from my father started selling in the 1970s. You know, they had the core field signs. They used to put after our yeah. stickers on signs. Yeah. Um, all that's happened now is technology has come in and helped facilitate the transfer of information a lot quicker and easier, yeah. yeah? But what we haven't worked out is the corner office, in a lot of cases, doesn't have a lot of energy. And I'm sure that mm. everybody who's listening to this, if you're in an office where there's no energy, it's very hard to be, have energy yourself. Yeah you've got to create your own energy and that's a very hard for mm. any human to do. Whereas if you walk into an office and you've got a lot of high energy, you can transfer that enthusiasm to the clients and the yep. clients will end up buying from you. Yep. And what we found with our small corner offices, it's really, really difficult mm. to get energy going. So if you can't get energy going, how are you going to make sales when we know that sale is a transfer of that energy? energy. Yep. So what that's a we, really good point. What, yeah. we, what, we, what we have decided to cut um, from 25 locations with small energy to go to 10 hubs in southeast Queensland, what we're calling the spine of southeast yes. Queensland. Yep. And we're going to have 10 locations with four offices and four different P&Ls and four um, different teams in that office. So they'll still be part of a small group, yep. but they'll be part of a bigger community. And, yep. and that bigger community will provide a lot more energy so that we'll yep. have 1,200 rentals per, per, um, hub. per, per hub. Yep. We'll have an agency director who will be getting paid a minimum $300,000 plus profit share. Achim. We will have... <laughs> we will have um, area leaders who will be coached by the agency director, and the agency directors will all have real estate experience, but we're a high-level leader, and they're yes. hard to find because the high-level leader will transfer the culture throughout yep. the business. And we'll have four teams in that office, as I said, or four mm. offices within that location in that yep. hub, and those offices will have their own bedroom as such. And when I say yep. bedroom, it's a bit like a house, yeah? Yep. We all don't live in one big community room, but so we, we like being part of the back. community yep. very much. So yep. we can go back to our smaller teams because we actually work, we know um, from a, a flight centre book, to be honest, called Family yep. Village Tribe, if anyone wants to read that. Pe Cracker book. People yep. love working in smaller groups rather yep. than big groups. People yep. get lost in bigger groups, but yep. they can have smaller groups and still be part of that bigger community. And that's why I honestly do believe that, that the corner real estate office will die. With technology moving forward, we do not, people with, with the big portals and with technology now, mm. people don't need to see the real estate office in their local area like they used to. Yep. Um, a good well, example. the agent, so to speak, will still go to the home or, or, or the, the property, whatever that is. So when that's I, not going to change. When I first started real estate back in 1987, <laughs> yeah, 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 87, a lot of people probably were born after that. But we used to get buyers to the office, we used to put them in the car, we used yep. to drive them around. There is just not need for yep. that anymore. And we believe we're better off digitally marketing the area, spending, and look, a lot of people have said you're gonna try and save money this way. It's actually gonna not save us a cent, because whether the rent is in um, 25 locations or we, ha we have- Or 10 big ones, it's yeah. It's either. the same. Yep. And we, but we, what we can do is have efficiency so we can do better marketing in the area, we can put our billboards in the area, we can still yep. have a presence in the area. We just don't need to have an office in the yep. area, an open office. And you spoke, you spoke about um, your ability to be able to be more efficient, take them away from being distracted and keep them on the core things that are dollar productive. That right. most agents, whatever they're doing, love that anyway. They, do. they don't they want do. to do they the non-productive. Yes. So yes. hence, when you put it in an office, you have an economy of scale where you can have, there's a marketing person to look after all that for them. Here's somebody else for conveyancing. Here's somebody else for mortgage. Exactly. All those other things yeah. can be looked after, which yeah. is a cracker. Look, if you're a salesperson, yeah. uh, I'm ostensibly a salesperson. I we come from are. that background. Yeah, very much. All I wanted to do was list and sell it's houses. Sales. Yeah. Yeah. I really don't want to do paperwork. All paperwork. Yeah, that was <laughs> that's where I was going. We don't even know paperwork. I don't want to do building inspections and pest inspections. Oh. I want to know what it is. I want to help negotiate those problems yep. through. But the more time I can sit in front of a vendor or a buyer, yep. is the more productive I'm going to be. And I think most agents um, would so, prefer that. Yep. And we can offer that um, in our bigger hubs because yep. we've got more people and the economies of scale enable us to have more support there for our agents. Good. They've done one already. We're up on the sunny coast. Yes. And now they've got another nine to go. So I think fantastic. Watch this space because he's got lots coming through. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, Ed.